Sue's back. Back again. Charlie's back. Tell your friends. Hey everybody, it's Charlie. I hope you're all well. So this is a bit awkward. This is the first time I have filmed in oh, well over two weeks now. Um, and I am so, so sorry about that. I feel honestly really bad. Um, but I do have a couple of good reasons for that. The first one is, if you watched my February book haul, you will know that I have been suffering with a viral infection. And it's taken me a lot longer to get over that than I thought it would. Um, and it's sort of just, viruses always just knock the stuffing out of you. Well, they do me anyway. And um, so I've just been spending a lot of time in bed, sleeping really. I've not even really been reading that much, to be honest. I've been in a little bit of a slump. So that's why. Um, on a positive note, I'm feeling much better now, so that's great. And the second reason for my absence, and this is the main reason, is that we have just bought a new house, which is super, super exciting, but of course very, very hectic. Um, if you've been following my channel for a while, or particularly if you've been following me on Instagram for a while, you will know that we've been trying to move out of our current house for such a long time and last summer was so bad here where we currently live in terms of just noise and disrespectful neighbours um, that we were determined by this summer to have got a new house and moved out and we are so I'm so excited and for the first time in years I'm actually looking forward to the summer and being able to have some peace and quiet the area that we're moving to is really really nice and I might actually do a like moving vlog kind of thing and you can like see all around my new house and that kind of thing and yeah I might do that I don't know let me know down below if that's something you would like to see I'm just so excited I want to share it with the world so um yeah that is why I've been away um I'm not sure how the next few months in terms of my filming is going to be. I'm going to try and do my best because I have so many videos that I've fallen behind on. Um, so I'm going to try and do my best to get those up. But obviously, as I said, moving house is very, very hectic. So I'm not sure how that will be. Um, we'll just keep my fingers crossed that I get some time, you know, all over the place. I'm going to try and do some block filming and then just upload videos every now and again. So they're still coming up. I bring to you my March book slash book related items haul. This is something else I want to address as well because I know I just keep doing hauls all the time this year. It's like the only videos I've done pretty much. Um, and I, I did mention this briefly in my February book haul and here I am doing another haul. But um, I thought this would just be a nice easy video to get me back into filming again. I've got a ton of other videos that I need to do that aren't book hauls, so hopefully you'll be seeing a lot of them coming up soon and it will make a nice change. Anyway, that's enough talking, let's get on with the book haul. First few things that I want to show you aren't books, but they are related to books, so I've got a couple of bookmarks, a couple of other little bits. First thing I want to show you is actually too big for me to like bring into this filming space with me, but I've taken a little bit of footage of it so you can see and I'll put that up now. big picture of the front cover of the book thief um i have never read this book but i saw this poster in my local waterstones they actually had it up and i just fell in love with it they do this whole range of posters in my local bookshop um with various different book covers on they had like the perks of being a wallflower um american psycho i just had a whole load of them but as soon as I saw this one I just I had to have it and I think it looks amazing up it was 12 pounds I think which seems quite pricey for a poster but the quality of it is amazing it's like a really thick um, poster it, oh, it's just brilliant I love it and uh, yeah so that's the first thing that I wanted to share with you the next couple of things are bookmarks so the first one is just this plain sort of bookmark which says 
Um, I like big books and I cannot lie. I really love this. I've had this for a while. I just forgot to show it in any of my hauls. Um, I got it from Amazon. They do a whole range of these. They are $1.99, which I think is ridiculously cheap. And uh, yeah, just really like this one. Next one that I got is this little paper one. And it says, a book a day keeps boredom at bay. And they were actually giving these away for free in my local bookshop for World Book Day. And of course, I couldn't resist. I love it. And I've been using it all the time since I got it. It's just a really nice, small, light bookmark. So I really like that one. And then the last bookmark that I've got to share with you is absolutely just, it's so beautiful. And it's one of these little ones that comes on a sort of chain and you just sort of, rest it over your page sort of thing um but i don't i haven't actually been using this like that i've had it as a decoration on my bookshelf because i was too frightened i'll break it like this it's just like a little face um and then it's just got a couple of little sort of silver hoops on either side of it and then just this little chain and oh my god isn't it amazing it was seven pounds which i think is ridiculously cheap because it's made really well um and i got this from a shop on Etsy called Madame Mortwainer. Mort I've probably butchered how you say that, but I'll put the Etsy link down below. Um, and she hand makes all of these and oh, just amazing. These are actually um, supposed to be based around um, Darren Brown's Svengali, if you've seen that. Um, and you all know how much of a big fan I am of Darren Brown. Um, so I just I couldn't resist. I think it's amazing. That's that. So those are all the bookmarks. Next, I've got a notepad that I bought from Amazon because I just thought it was the most beautiful thing ever and it was like £4, so I just couldn't resist. And it looks like this. I'll show you a little um, close-up. And then it's literally just sort of um, a lined paper notebook. But the amazing thing about this is that all the way through... It has these stunning pictures with little quotes on them. And I love my things with quotes on them. I'm obsessed. I have them all over my room. Um, they're just really, really nice. And I just, I couldn't resist buying it. As I say, it was £4 on Amazon. And I oh, just, I love it so much. And I use notepads all the time. So this is going to get a heck of a lot of use out of it. The last two things that I want to show you that aren't books but are book related, um, they're actually adult colouring books. You probably will have seen these around on Booktube lately because I know a lot of people have been buying them but they're like the most beautiful thing ever and they are these um, and I have got Enchanted Forest and Secret Garden and these are both by Johanna Basford, um, and as I say, they're adult colouring books. I'll just show you some of the pictures that are inside them because they are absolutely, honestly, they are so beautiful. Um, and I have to say, if you suffer with um, anxiety or any sort of like depression, I highly recommend picking adult colouring books up because they just kind of divert your brain and they're very relaxing. Although, a little warning, they are super, super, super addictive. Like, once you start colouring them, you just, you can't stop. I'll show you actually one that I coloured recently, so you can see what they're like when they're done. Um, oh, this is my favourite, by the way, look. It's a skull. How amazing is that? Um, <clears throat> they are very intricate, though, so I recommend getting some fine tip pens. I've been using Sharpies, but I've just invested in some, some ones with thinner tips because of... You know, it's hard to get inside the edges with a Sharpie. Um, so this is one I've actually done. I'm super proud of it. I think it looks amazing. Um, so yeah, these are really brilliant. I highly recommend them. They're very beautiful. In this one, um, you've also got bits where you have to draw things yourself. Um, so it's slightly different to this one, which is literally just colouring and finding things that are in the pictures. These are £10 each, which I think is super cheap. And in Waterstones at the moment, they are doing them for buy one, get one half price. So it's worth going and checking them out if you can. On to all the books. So I'm going to start with a manga because it's the only manga that I have to show you. Um, it's called Bleach and it is by Tite Kubo. 
there you go it's down there <laughs> I probably butchered that um just your normal sort of manga artwork in here and this is about a boy called Ishigo who can see ghosts and he finds out that he is a soul reaper which means that he has to fight these things called hollows which are basically these creatures that feed on the souls of the living and the dead um so they're very dangerous creatures and oh my god this is so good i cannot recommend this series highly enough i've already ordered the next bind up which has volumes four five and six in it and i've been watching the anime of this i'll put the link down below to a youtube channel um that actually uploads the episodes of this anime because it's so so good and it's slightly different to the book so definitely recommend checking both of those out next i picked up poetry please by Rod well it's not by anyone actually because it's there's a whole load of different authors in here um something you may not know about me is that i write poetry and i love to read poetry um and i basically i had something to take back to the bookshop and i wanted to swap it for something else and i saw this on the table and i opened it up to the page where it has one of my favorite poems of all time in it and i was just like yeah i have to have this um it's basically set out in categories so you've got things like um death and friendship and love and all that kind of stuff war and oh my god some of the poems in here are absolutely stunning my favorite is called if by um Ru Ru rudyard kipling i can never i've never been able to say his name um but oh just such a lovely book if you like poetry I am obsessed with reading this at the moment, as you can see, I've been bookmarking my pages, which I very, very rarely do, um, but yeah, really impressed with this book, and it's a massive book, and it was only 9 99 which I think is really, really good, so that's that one. Next, I picked up The Rain and the Storm by Virginia Bergen, this is called The Rain Duology, I think, um, and this is way dystopian and it's basically it revolves around the fact that there is some sort of bacteria that has got into the rainwater and if you are touched by even so much as a drop of it you end up dying our main character is a 15 year old girl called ruby who's trying to survive in amongst all this chaos really i have already read the rain and i'm currently reading the storm and this series is super super addictive i'll talk more about it in a series review video that i'm going to do when i finish this one but yeah, highly recommend it. Such a good series. Orion sent me a copy of The Damned by Andrew Piper. I don't really know too much about this. Um, in fact, I don't really know anything about it. And it hasn't really got that big of a synopsis. But I'm, I think it's a horror. Um, yeah, I really don't know too much about this at all. But I'll try and put the good reader link down below so you can go and have a look at it or whatever. Um, yeah, don't know too much about it, but the cover is amazing, and yeah, that's just sold me. Yesterday, I was in WH Smith's because I went to pick up some pens. WH Smith is a stationery slash bookstore here in the UK, and I picked up Mother Mother by Corin Zel Zelkas. I'm not sure how you say that. Um, I've been eyeing this book up for ages and just never getting around to buying it. And then I was in there and they had one copy and I read the synopsis and I was just like, oh, I just, I can't put it off any longer. Um, it says, meet Violet Hurst, 16 years old, beautiful and brilliant. So why is she being accused of being a danger to herself and others? Meet her brother Will, the smartest and sweetest 12 year old boy around. But does he really need all that medication he is being told to take? Meet older sister Rose, the one who got away. She disappeared one night in her final year of school, never to be heard from again. And then meet their mother, Josephine. Perhaps then it will all start to make sense. So it sounds amazing. And it says in the front that it's terrifying. So I'm very, very, very looking, very much looking forward to reading this one. Next is The List of My Desires by Gregor... Gregory Della... Nah, can't say it. Um, and... All I know about this book is that it's about a woman who wins the lottery but she's not sure if she wants the money or something like that and she writes down a list of like all the things that she would like to do 
with this money to see if she actually wants it or not. So I don't know. I don't really know too much about it, but I just I thought it sounded interesting and it's very short and the font is really big, so it's gonna be a super short read and I'm hoping to get around to this one very, very soon. Until it's over by Nikki French. I picked this up because I kept hearing people saying that she's a really brilliant writer and that her thrillers are great. And I I just saw this one when I was out and about and I thought the cover was absolutely amazing. And so I just decided to just go for it. And this is about a cycle career. Um, it's set in London. And it's about a cycle career called Astrid Bell. And people around her keep dying, basically. Or, yeah, they keep being found dead. And obviously she becomes a suspect. And um, she's sort of trying to find out what is going on and why she's being accused of these things. So it sounds really interesting. And I'm really looking forward to reading this one it's quite a long one and the font is quite small um but yeah excited to read this one my friend lee from the book smoke i'll put the link to his channel down below sent me a copy of her by harriet lane i'm super excited to read this one it's been on my wish list for quite a while it's about two people um called emma and nina um but it says that nina remembers emma and something that emma did but Emma doesn't remember her. Um, so it's a thriller, obviously, a psychological thriller, and I'm really excited to read this one, and it's super short as well. So hopefully get, get round to this one very, very soon. Next, I picked up The Enchanted by Renee Denfeld, and this is about... I'm going to actually read you the back of this one because it's super short. It says, A prisoner sits on death row in a maximum security prison. We don't know his crime... We don't know his name, but he watches and he listens. A lady investigator unravels unspeakable crimes. She does not let men go to their deaths without a fight. And the prisoner wonders, how do we stop men like me from happening? So this is told from that prisoner's perspective. You guys know I love stuff like this and I'm so excited to read it. Definitely going to be reading this one very, very soon. Amber over at the Marlon bookshelf. I'll put the link to her channel and her blog down below sent me Flesh and Blood by Simon Cheshire. Um, this was actually her copy that she didn't want and she very kindly said she would send it to me. This is part of the Red Eye series, um, which is a new horror series. I showed you another book from this series called Frozen Charlotte, which I'm yet to read. Um, and this is about a guy called Sam and his strange neighbours and him trying to find out what is wrong with them. It's supposed to be really, really gory and yeah, really looking forward to reading this one. She sent me a little card as well. I then picked up Playlist for the Dead by Michelle Falkoff. I don't know too much about this, but I picked it up because I heard that it's very much like 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, which is one of my favourite books. It's about a boy whose best friend commits suicide and he leaves him a suicide note and a playlist of songs to explain why he committed suicide. So yeah, really looking forward to reading this one. And if it's half as good as 13 Reasons Why, then I'm going to love it. Hotkey Books sent me a copy of Under My Skin by James Dawson. It has pink paint. Um, and this is a young adult horror, and it's to do with some sort of haunted tattoo, I think. Um, I don't really know too much about it, but I'm so bloody excited to read this. And I love tattoos, so I'm hoping it doesn't put me off buying any more, um, getting any more. Um, but yeah, it's an amazing cover, and very excited to read this one. Next, I picked up The Third Twin by... C.J. Omolulu. I'm going to read you the inside of this because it's quite an intricate plot. It says, When they were little, Lexi and her identical twin Ava made up a third sister, Alicia. If something broke, Alicia did it. Cookies got eaten, Alicia's guilty. Alicia was always to blame for everything. The game is all grown up now that the girls are seniors. They use Alicia as their cover to go out with boys who are hot, but not exactly dating material. Now one of the guys Alicia went out with has turned up dead and Lexi wants to stop the game for good. As coincidences start piling up, Ava insists that if they follow the rules for being Alicia, everything will be fine. But when another boy is killed, the DNA evidence and surveillance photos point to only one suspect, Alicia, the girl who doesn't exist. 
As she runs from the cops, Lexi has to find the truth before another boy is murdered. Because either Ava is a killer or Alicia is real. So this sounds absolutely amazing and oh, I cannot wait to read this one. I'm definitely going to be reading this one very, very soon. Next, I picked up The Vanishing Girls by Lauren Oliver. This is a psychological thriller about a young girl whose sister goes missing. Um, and then another little girl goes missing and she is determined that these two disappearances are linked and she is going to find out what happens and oh yeah I'm really looking forward to reading this one as well it's a st absolutely stunning book and um, yeah really looking forward to getting stuck in to this one and then the last book I've got to show you in this haul is Written in Red by Anne Bishop I don't know too much about this but my friends Erin and Ryan um, over at the Rask Queen and Ryan Reads books have been raving about this book, particularly Erin. She has just been saying that it is just the most amazing book. And um, I saw it when I was in WH Smith and I just, I couldn't resist finally picking it up. I don't know anything, to be honest, about this book, really. Um, apart from that it involves shapeshifters and lots of other sort of I don't know, creatures, um, and yeah, it just, it sounds really, really good, it's quite a beast of a book though, and the font is pretty small, so I'm not sure when I'll get to this, although I really do want to read this next, because I'm just super enthralled to see why everybody seems to be raving about this book so much, so yeah, those are all the books that I have to share with you in this haul. I will have an unboxing coming up very soon as well, though, because I'm still waiting on a few books. Um, so hopefully they will arrive within the next couple of days and I'll be able to put those up to show you. And, yeah, it's good to be back. Um, I have missed filming so much. As I said, not sure what the film will be like over the next few months but i'll try and keep it as regular as possible i hope you're all doing well and i'll see you all in my next video bye